Hey everyone, Diavolo here, and in today's video we're going to be going over the main character or protagonist of Tokyo Revengers and the leader of Toman's prestigious first division, our crybaby hero Takamichi Hanagaki. But before we get into Takamichi, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a like on the video as it really helps out with pushing my content to a bunch of new amazing people. But enough of that, let's get into the video. So Takamichi, as I've said, is the protagonist and main character of the entire Tokyo Revengers story so far. At the beginning of the series, as a young adult, Takamichi is 26 years old and works a dead-end job in a DVD or video rental store. He has extremely messy, unkept, dark brown hair and wears very plain clothes when compared to other characters in the series. Or even later on in one timeline when he returns and is fully kitted out in a Dulce and Gabbana outfit. Keeping with the unkept style of Takamichi, his flat or house is almost completely filled with rubbish and old food. Because of the way Takamichi's life had turned out, he had pretty much lost his entire sense of direction and didn't really know what his meaning in life was, as it really felt to him like he was going nowhere. In his own words, Takamichi said that since the age of 14, all he'd been was a lazy good-for-nothing that only ran away from all the confrontation or mistakes he's made throughout his life, never standing up for himself or his friends and constantly disappointing loved people around him. But obviously this isn't the Takamichi that we know to grow and love throughout this amazing series. This is the Takamichi that had to be thrusted by an unknown assailant onto the train track and killed so that the real protagonist of the series could be reborn with an actual meaning and purpose for life. One afternoon after his shift at work, Takamichi is caught keying a vehicle by its owner. He runs off to the train station to get away from the rich salary man and head back home. While standing there waiting for his train, Takamichi thinks to himself that he really hasn't got anywhere in life. He lives in a beat up apartment with thin walls and gets treated like an absolute child by a manager six years his younger. He's only ever had one girlfriend and this was while he was in middle school over 10 years earlier. He says that he's never had anything perfect in life and he starts to wonder where it all went wrong for him. As he mentally hits rock bottom, he is also hit from behind by an unknown assailant, shoving him into the lights of a quickly approaching train. Takamichi begins to have his life flash before his eyes, but instead of thinking about his family members or close friends like anyone normally would, he remembers his ex-girlfriend, Hinata Tachibana, who had died earlier that same day in an accident involving the Tokyo Manji gang. Reminiscing more on these times, he realizes that middle school grade 2 was his heyday, he was the number two of a cool second year delinquent group. The time when he'd have his only girlfriend was flashing before his eyes. The moment Takamichi starts to think of his past with Hina, he somehow manages to break time itself and is initially gifted with the ability to move back through time and space 12 years to the day. We find that through a vow or bond with Naoto where there is a specific desire and mutual agreement to change the events of the past so that the future is altered in a favourable outcome, one can time leap back and change things. But after one side of the mutual agreement is fulfilled and there is no longer any kind of inclination for one side of the party or that party has achieved its goals, Takamichi will be unable to travel back through time and save anyone else who might have not already been saved. This ability of time travel seems exclusive to Takamichi and as I've said previously, if both parties have a mutual agreement to change the past and alter the future, then Takamichi will be able to time leap back with them to where the origin of the unfavourable outcome began. As broken as his ability to change the past may seem, there is actually some huge limitations to it so that Takamichi can't constantly time leap back to the present timeline. Him and the person he shook hands with have to be living. If either of them die, it makes Takamichi completely stuck in that effective timeline and he will have to relive his current life unless he is unable to fix things so that the person he leaps with doesn't die. After countless events and moments throughout a variety of amazing arcs, Takamichi gradually moulds into a completely different person and becomes someone so valuable to the core Toman members that sometimes I forget he isn't even a founding member himself, as the impact he has on its main members like Mikey, Draken, Shifuyu and Baji and a lot more make it feel as though he has been a lifelong friend, and the actions that he takes to protect a loved one is something that only an extremely close friend or family member would ever do. Putting his life on the line and fighting for someone else is a complete parallel to how he is introduced into the series. 
Now, instead of being a coward and running away from the first sight of confrontation, just like when he keyed the rich salaryman's car, he will now stand up for himself. Even when facing overwhelming odds of defeat, he will never refuse to back down. This conviction of his is spoken into existence during his battle with Kiyomasa, when he first stands up for himself and says, I'm not finished yet. This isn't enough to fix 12 years of being a lazy good for nothing. I ran and ran ran and ran. I'm not going anywhere. I got a damn good reason not to. The Tokyo Manji Gang. Kiyomasa, if you want to win, you got no choice but to kill me, and I am not gonna lose. This fight with Kiyomasa is one of the only fights throughout the series in which Takamichi actually defeats an opponent himself through sheer desperation. After constantly questioning himself for the past 12 years and almost falling into obscurity while listening to Draken's words of telling him to run away with the girls to safety, pretty much telling Takamichi to run away and let one of his best friends bleed out and die, but this time he makes the decision to finally change as a person. There are other moments that may be much more impactful, but I truly believe that this moment is one of the most important throughout the series. Not just for Takamichi and his character building in general, but because if Takamichi hadn't faulted here, everything would have simply fallen into the hands of the genius Kasaki and Mikey would have immediately subsided into darkness, becoming prone to the dark impulses he possesses because of the news that Draken had passed away. But obviously, this doesn't happen, and this is because of the pure endurance that Takamichi possesses. Takamichi is definitely not a strong fighter. He lacks style and doesn't have great movement, so for sure has never trained in some kind of martial arts like Mikey. Normally, Takamichi would only be considered as strong as any other delinquent fodder in the gang, as he never really wins by himself, but he's slightly different. If the significance of the fight is uncomparable and could result in the death of a loved one, then Takamichi's strength will often scale to a level near that of his opponents, possibly even higher if the story compels it. Where his true strength does lie is in the sheer endurance and determination that Takamichi has when it comes to brawling anyone who threatens his perfect future. From a young age, he's constantly stood up to older kids and has grown the strength to be able to take blows from people twice his size. And even if he is knocked down, he has the utter determination and durability to constantly get back up, to the point where the person he is fighting is often surprised by just how tough Takamichi truly is. Throughout the series so far, he has taken a variety of blows from varying weapons, such as being stabbed through the hand with a knife or being shot in the foot with a gun, and none of these injuries have really made any effect. Yes, of course they would slow him down eventually, but in the heat of battle, when the blood is pumping, it seems as though they have no real effect on him. I honestly think Takamichi is an insanely human character who like some people would have loved the chance to reset his life from a specific point and fix some of the mistakes he made and like any normal person initially would, he leaps at the opportunity to save all of his friends and loved ones. But what makes him special to me and I think a lot of other readers and now watchers of the show is his determination to never give up. This anime trope that is constantly used in every single action based anime or fighting story can become a little bit overused, like as an example fairy tale I think overuses this trope. But with Tokyo Revengers and Takamichi, it feels as though the times that he does never give up are the moments that matter more than anything. Because as we all know, as readers and watchers are the outcomes that are destined to happen, and often Takamichi is forced into a corner when trying to fix these. But never, when times are tough, does he seem to give up or be knocked down. Against all odds, Takamichi always seems to come out on top, never giving up on his original goal of changing the last 12 years of his lazy, good-for-nothing life. But as you know, I love the Tokyo Revengers series and Takamichi Hanagake is definitely one of the best protagonists I've seen and he has some of the best character building throughout the series. So if you haven't picked up the manga yet or even begun the anime, I recommend that you do both for sure as you definitely won't regret it. And if you have enjoyed my video on Takamichi Hanagake, then make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment down below with who you'd like me to go over next in Tokyo Revengers. I've also done some other character showcases, so if you guys want, you can check those out here. And if you guys are new around here and want to keep up to date with the latest Tokyo Revengers, Jujutsu Kaisen, One Piece, One Punch Man, Black Clover, and more anime content, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. But anyway, for now, it's been your professional degenerate, Diavolo, and I'll see you all in a bit. Bye.